A ray of light during a catastrophic storm. Milton community members turned a trying experience into a very positive one for a South Florida police officer who evacuated his family here. Channel 3's Allie Norton tells us about the series of good deeds. Allie? And Bob, the police officer, made a Facebook post that has been shared more than 6,000 times. We had a chance to speak with him today, as well as the man he's calling an angel. A blown tire during any trip can be irritating. Add in a massive hurricane and a deadline to get your family moved, and that's exactly the pressure Tommy Burks was under. He's a police officer in Pembroke Pines near Fort Lauderdale. Last week, he evacuated his wife Lisa and two daughters Cameron and Jordan to the Milton KOA. We brought our RV up here because it looks like it's a Category 5. If my roof blows off, we want to have a place to live, so that's why we're taking the RV too. He brought a travel trailer to Milton a day before his family arrived in a separate car. He planned to then turn around and help with relief efforts. But Bergs had a flat tire on the way here. He ended up at Florida stores of Milton for a replacement, but was short on money. Uh, I said I, I've spent most of my what I can spend on my hurricane preparation. I don't have a lot of money. I still need to get home. Enter David Cooper. He's a regular at the store and overheard Berg's story. He, he says, well, he can have my tires. And I guess that's how you say tires up there. Well, they weren't the right size, but Cooper was determined to help. And he looks at me. <laughs> Sorry. And he says, you're getting four tires. You're not paying a dime and you're not allowed to say no. Cooper bought four new tires for Tommy Berg's truck. I just did what I was supposed to do, and he's doing what he's supposed to do. You know, it's like throwing a rock in a pond. It's got a rippling effect. Overwhelmed, Berg's went across the way to buy everyone donuts, except the owner of Milton Quality Bakery wouldn't take his money either. He can barely speak because he's telling me this story, and he's just in awe of the generosity. He posted about the experience on Facebook. It's been shared thousands of times. You know, he said he loved me after he got through, and that was enough. Bergs never imagined that so much good could come from a flat tire. I guess angels live in Milton, Florida and wear blue jeans. Last thing the officer Bergs told me was that he has some thousand days until he retires, and he and his wife have written Milton and Penn on their list of possible places to settle. In the studio, Allie Norton, Channel 3 News.